What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darku and in the last episode I showed you how to get Bepin EX and the rest of the sort of premise mod builds. Today we're going to be going over in Slime VML with Bepin EX, uh, the build share or advanced building and we're also going to be showing you how to basically import different kind of building mods. As per usual the first thing you're going to want to do is check the description in the video which will have all the links to the downloadable things that you're going to need and as per usual once again they will be on my you know trusted Darku Valheim mods page you'll have the wolf breeding tower which we'll be using the inslime VML which we'll be using and the build share version 1.51 which we'll also be using these all have the versions that I am currently using as well which are apparently the latest ones since making this video the very first thing we're going to want is inslime VML which I will put a link in the description for this specifically and this is by PJ Ninja it's a very cool sort of plugin that you can add in and allows you to do all kinds of different mods the second one is build share or advanced building and this allows you to basically use this inside of inslime VML and you'll be able to basically import all kinds of buildings from other players who have uploaded their builds the third thing we're going to be doing is an actual mod itself by Jenna Realm and sorry the build share let me just give the credit to CR Dev by the way for this build sharing uh, mod here and uh, so yeah the wolf breeding thing is by Jenna Realm 13 which is good we're going to use an example today and you can also download that in the description all three of these will be in my Valheim mods uh, mega.nz files as you can see here and you can grab them however you wish once you have downloaded all these things as you can see I've already downloaded these and they are on my desktop here's my in slime Here's my build share and here's the wolf breeding thing. The wolf breeding one is a mod on its own and sort of is a standalone one. You do not have to have this one. We're going to be using the wolf breeding pen as an example, but these two specifically you will need to add building mods to the game. The first thing we're going to do is open up our Steam. Once your Steam is open, we're going to go to our library, go to Valheim, we're going to right click, go to properties, go to local files, and then browse. Unless you know exactly where your Valheim folder is, this is the easiest and quickest way to get to it. Once you're in your main folder, you want to open up the inslime.rar uh, file. And we want to refuse to pay for WinRAR because it's free forever. We're going to go into inslime, and then whilst we're here, we want to grab all of these folders and files, and then drag and drop into Valheim. You want to replace the files in the destination if this comes up. And voila, Valheim in slime VML is now complete. We can now get rid of this and also get rid of this as well. For now, I'm going to put this just down here so I remember that which ones I have and have not done. The next thing we're going to do is open up Build Share version 1.51. You may have a different one, and you can see here we've got CR Build Share VML.dll. And what we're going to do with this one is go into the in slime VML, we're going to go into mods, and we're going to just drag this in and we're now done with this one as well we can either delete that or I'm going to put it to the side so that again once again I know what I'm doing okay so now we're going to add the wolf breeding tower so we're just going to open this up we're going to go to inslime vml into the mods and we're just going to bring that in there wolf breeding tower dot vbuild we're going to close all these that should all be done and we're going to be testing it now and using it to show off what it does in game now that we have all installed we can now test it out we're going to be launching Valheim. Here it comes up with saying modded Valheim client launching plus Inslim VML and Pepin EX. Click OK. And we're just going to have this to the right and have this on the left so we can look out for any errors that pop up. And uh, we'll let this load. Starting up, as you can see, we were very successful. The Bepin EX plus Inslim VML is on the loading screen. You can actually change this, and I will go through the uh, changes with you. But for now, we're going to start game and we're going to be looking out for any errors that pop up. We're going to be playing as official dark which is our testing one mod showcase and start the game so far so good no red text on the left here you can see there is build share 1.51 which is going to click on that and you can now drag and drop wherever you want this to be i'm going to put it underneath my map and we're going to as there's no red text we are going to maximize so we can see what we're doing and we're going to be dragging this once again under the map we can now click build and build name which is this one or get builds and now that we've done this what we actually do want to do is move in that other build uh, into here so if we go to our Valheim folder here go in slim VML 
mods and we're going to take this wolf breeding tower because what has happened is we've actually put this in the wrong place we want to cut this out so we're just going to cut and then inslim again or Valheim, sorry and we're going to go to builder builds and we're just going to go ahead and paste the wolf breeding tower in here instead because now that is all loaded this has made its own build share folder and this should now come up we're now going to close that and now we've got the wolf breeding tower right here and we can click build what I have noticed is that I did build it right on top of me <laughs> but as you can see here very clearly this has worked in, in ways some of it snapped off I don't actually know what happened there but we have actually got our wolf tower It does seem to be breaking like crazy. I don't even know what's going on there specifically. But maybe the structural integrity is just not good. I can't quite tell. Well, it's worked within reason. Um, don't know what much more to say. It does look like it's collapsing for some odd reason. Maybe we need more support, so maybe the support wasn't correct. We're just going to go ahead and go to the bottom. And maybe flatten the ground is the problem. Alright, I'm going to be totally honest, I have no idea why that actually did collapse. We have, however, hoed it out a little bit, and uh, it seems to be seems to be alright now. It's not absolutely coming down. But the main premise is there, okay? We know how to uh, add builds into the game now of other people's things. The whole premise between this is that you would throw meat essentially there, and it would go down into the hole, and the wolves would be in here. Uh, on this little square piece and you close the door behind them they'd be stuck in there the meat would go in they would feed them and the babies would drop to the bottom and therefore you could make like loads of wolf uh, adults at the bottom here because they'd be babies so they would slip through the middle they would come down here and then yeah you'd have your wolf army at the bottom which is really good if you've got some two star wolves and you put them in the middle and you put f chuck food in the funnel at the top uh, maybe give it some extra supports because I don't know what happened but the game just didn't like the idea of me importing this straight away but that is that and if you want to get rid of the build share menu you just have to click it once more again and don't forget you can actually indeed drag and drop wherever you want this to go this can sort of happen with the uh, you can like save builds as well if you want to make your own builds and share them with people I won't go into too much depth for that one um, I will real quick before we end this video show you how to revert the menu screen back to the old version so as you can see, the menu screen did get changed when we added the InSlim uh, mod. We want to obviously revert this back to the old Valheim thing, so we're going to show you how to do that now. Alright, so coming back to the folder, we're going to go into our main Valheim folder here, and we're going to find the InSlim VML uh, configuration settings uh, somewhere within this uh, folder of yours. And we're going to right-click, and we are going to open with Notepad. When we have opened with Notepad, let me just drag this onto the other screen, you'll notice a few things here. Uh, and the one thing we do want to change is display or on a modded main menu. Show or on a menu true, we want to send this to false. You will then want to file, save, exit this, and that is all you need to do. Now if we load up Valheim again, and yes we are using this, okay, you should see the old menu back. That's if you want it, you don't have to do this, but for me personally I like the old menu, I don't really want the menu updated just because we've added the insulin thing that kind of, yeah, defeats the purpose but here we go, back to the old Valheim menu so, I hope this tutorial helped you figure out how to add in the preparations for building mods and also how to add in the wolf tower mod I honestly don't know what happened with the tower it kind of like collapsed um, but as you can see, no red text we've done nothing wrong here, so we're all good and it all works perfectly fine if you have any problems with this or you have any red text, please once again follow the video back through. If you still have a problem, I am always around on Discord or on YouTube or something. At me, or you know, the Discord is the best place to contact me. So jump in my Discord, at me on Discord, I'll be around to help you. Don't forget to leave a like, comment if you wish, subscribe if you haven't already, god damn I need that support. And I'm over on Twitch like all the time, so you know, it's lonely over there, please come and help. Send help. <laughs> Alright, I hope this helped. Good night. Bye.